I wish I could shake my 13 year old self. I'll say for real, for real, be careful what you pray for because all my 13 year old self wanted was some double D's, if she only knew. <laughs> is going to be for my ladies with larger busts okay we are going to be talking about styling tips so how to style a large bust as well as the essentials that you need when it comes to bras and where to find them if you're new here my name is Chi Chi on this channel we cover fashion beauty and lifestyle now if you're thinking Chi Chi this is a fashion channel why are we talking about undergarments y'all undergarments are just as important as what you put on top of them because the wrong undergarments can take your outfit from A to Z in a split second. I personally feel that wearing the wrong undergarments even tends to make you look older, okay, and frumpier. So whether or not you have a large bust, if you wear a bra and you're looking for lift, support, and comfort in your bras, Make sure you keep on watching because I'm going to be showing some game changing tips that I wish I knew earlier. So let's talk about the essentials, right? Before we even dive into the types of bras you need, the first thing you need to know is what is your bra size, okay? I personally think you should know your bra size even before you leave to go to the store. And the reason why I say this is that sometimes when you go to the store, especially if you have a very large cup size and maybe a very small band size, these sales associates are trying to sell their bras, right? They may give you the wrong size because they're trying to move product okay so if you're wondering okay Chi Chi so how do I know what my bra size is it's super easy to calculate your own bra size all you literally need is a tape measure and you know a notebook to write down your dimensions. I will put a link to the calculation for how to figure out your bra size. Basically, you're, you subtract your band size from the size of the fullest part of your bust and it'll give you your cup size and it'll also give you your band size. It's a super easy calculation. But if you're like, Chi I don't have a tape measure. You know, I don't wanna do any math. You could also download the Wakol app and on the Wakol app, it's super easy. You download the app, it will just take pictures of your body and it will give you your band your bra size and actually it's very very accurate because I was fitted by a bra expert and then I went and used the app and they were basically identical okay so I personally have asymmetrical boobs so finding bras are it can be a little tricky for me and I'll talk about that later in the end but even if you do I feel like that app is very accurate. So I'm gonna put a link to the app for you down below. Not only will the app tell you your bra size, it'll also make some recommendations of, of what bras you need to buy. So step one is to know your bra size. And I recommend getting fitted. They say every six months, we're busy, I get it. Like, I don't know if I have time to be going to get fitted every six months. But if you've lost weight or gained weight drastically, I would say if you've gained or lost anywhere between 20 pounds, you definitely need to go in for a fitting. If you had a baby, you probably need to go in for a fitting after you stop breastfeeding because your boobs change, okay? But I would definitely recommend going to a fitting at least or fitting yourself every 24 months, which is why it's really important to know how to fit yourself and figure out what your bra size is at home. All right, now that we've gotten <laughs> the bra fitting and finding knowing your cup size, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the essential bras that you need. Now, you should definitely have different bras for different occasions. Hear me out, okay? You should have an everyday bra that you know, we'll work on their t-shirts, blouses, et cetera, et cetera. I typically suggest going for neutral colors so you don't have to worry about the color showing and making an appearance in public. Um, I also prefer smooth bras versus lacy ones so that you don't also see them through your clothes, but it's totally optional. And then you should also have a strapless bra. You know, it's about to be summertime, backs out, you know, all these crazy necklines. You need a convertible strapless bra that will work in all those situations and then finally you need a soft cup or a sports bra like when you come back when you're home you don't want to deal with underwire you know what I was an underwire true and true girl y'all I used to wear my bras to bed 
okay? And I know this, that's a very controversial topic. Let me know in the comments below if you wear your bras to bed, okay? I used to wear my bras to bed. That's how gung-ho of what I was about my underwire bras, right? But during the pandemic, your girl started wearing these soft bras and, uh, you know, <laughs> let's just say I'm not as faithful as I, as I used to be to my underwire bras. So you definitely need bras for at least those three occasions. Obviously, you may want to add like a plunge bra if you find yourself wearing low cut tops a lot or things that require a plunge bra, right? And if you guys would like for me to do a detailed video on, you know, fitting yourself at home and the types of bras you should be picking based on your breast shape, let me know in the comments below and I may just do that, okay? So we've covered the essentials. Now, I'm sure most of you are here for the styling tips. Okay, Chi Chi, I have these enormous breasts, okay? And I never know what to wear because they always be stealing the show. So let's talk about it. So if you watched my, I believe it's my style mistakes video, I talked a lot about body types and knowing your style ABCs. And one of the acronyms in the style ABC philosophy is balance. Balance is huge when it comes to personal style and styling. And when you have a portion of your body that's disproportionate to the rest, your goal is always to create balance. So when you have a larger chest, neck lines matter, okay? You want to to choose necklines that help to balance out the rest of your proportions. Now, some people have really large breasts and really large hips. These are typically hourglass girls, right? Some women have really large breasts and really broad shoulders. And some women have really large breasts and really, really slender hips, right? And based on that, that is how you determine what's the best neckline for you. Now, universally, V-necks, sweetheart necklines and wrap necklines tend to be the most flattering on women with larger busts, okay? Reason being that the open neckline creates a little bit of balance because it helps to elongate the neck, okay? When you have really large busts, depending on how big your bust is, you know, when you move your breast to the center of your body, which is where your breast should sit normally, there's a lot of breast tissue on top, right? And so that can really help to make your neck look really small and make your bosom look really big, which is why it's really important to choose those wrap necklines and try and open up the decolletage in order to make the bust or the bosom look less full. All right, so I know when you have a larger chest, your body just tends to be a little bit more suggestive depending on how you grew up. You know, people may or may not have made comments on how, you know, risque your clothing can be. So in order to control the amount of cleavage that you have open, I have a couple of tips for you. The first would be to use a pin, okay, and pin your wrap tops, okay, and your deep V tops to the center part of your bra okay when you do that it really helps you to control the amount of cleavage and the amount of skin that you have on show this is also great for button-down shirts as well I know that another issue that my girls with larger chests have is the gaping when you wear button-down shirts you may have been like me and totally given up on button-down shirts I have a hack for you, okay? Rather than giving up on button down shirts, my suggestion is to either get double sided tape, okay? That's fashion tape that's sticky on both sides that you can put on your shirt. This helps to control the gape. Another suggestion would be to have those little snap buttons sewn onto your shirt. Some clothes actually come with those little buttons already sewn in. And you can take that to the cleaners if you don't know how to sew. And they could put in those little snappy buttons and that creates a button in between the two buttons and voila the gape is gone all right now on the flip side remember we are trying to minimize the size of the bust and just balance out your bust to the rest of your proportions you definitely want to avoid pieces that draw too much attention to the bust and by attention i mean pieces that have additional fabric around the bust puckering ruching ruffles etc etc that will only help to draw attention to the bust area and add a additional volume to to the bust area well, when you are trying to streamline the bust area. Speaking of streamlining 
in the bust area. When in doubt, go with black, okay? We all know that white tends to highlight and black tends to minimize. Obviously, we're going into the summer months, you know, wearing a black shirt may not be ideal, but darker colors will help to minimize the look of your bust. Another thing that really helps to minimize a larger bust is to layer. Layering on a blazer, a kimono, a jacket really helps to create a vertical line from the top of your head to your feet, okay, which elongates. So it makes you appear slimmer, it makes you appear taller, but it also minimizes the size and the width of your bust, okay? Those two pieces of fabric on either side break things up and make your bust appear smaller. Now, if you're going to layer, I always recommend layering something fitted on the inside and then something a little bit looser on top. Because the last thing you want to do is layer something that is voluminous underneath and then put something voluminous on top. That would just make the whole area appear larger. On the subject of volume, when choosing bras, remember bras with push-ups and molded cups add volume. You want to go for pieces, if, even if you want a molded cup that's a little bit slimmer or bras that are just made out of a thin fabric, that helps to minimize the size of the bust. And I know I just said stay away from voluminous tops, but when in doubt, especially when you're choosing button down shirts, I recommend or flowy blouses sizing up, okay, and getting it tailored to fit, right? Because the last thing you want is for your clothing to be pulling around the chest because anytime there's pulling, anytime something seems tight, it actually makes an area appear larger. Now I could keep going and going and going on different tweaks and things you can do when you're styling around the bust. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a part two. So let's talk about recommendations. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my bust slash bra story. Okay. When I was 10, 11, up to like about 12, I had really no boobs. And like I said, y'all, I was praying for some boobs. Okay. 13 year old me, I wish I could go back and just smack her in the face and be like, girl, no, you don't want those double Ds. Because what happened to me was that I actually developed asymmetrical boobs. Now, I know the subject of boobs can, you know, bring some uncomfortable feeling, especially if your boobs do not look like the perfect boobs that you see on Playboy, right? So as of last check, there are 29 different breast shapes, right? But for whatever reason, the same type of breast shape is always high highlighted and shown off in air quotes in the media, which is the round shape, right? I personally, like I said, developed asymmetrical boobs and there's actually nothing wrong with asymmetrical boobs. Most women have a certain level of asymmetry in their breasts. However, one of my breasts happened to be about two cup sizes larger than the other. So I have like a 38 D double D on one breast and like a 38 F G on another breast breast, right? And so for me, finding the best type of bras for me happened to be t-shirt bras. T-shirt bras with some slight molding in the cups, right? Because the cups are already designed to fit in certain shape and help to balance out the asymmetry of my breast. Personally, I love the t-shirt bras at A and Lane Bryant, okay? They make really, really great bras in my opinion. So if for my plus size girls, they go up to like a 50, if, don't quote me on it, but I believe so. And they have sizes like H, J, K, L, M. Now, one recommendation I would give you again is to fit yourself at home and go online and order the bras. Because what I found, especially if you have a smaller band size and a larger cup size that they usually don't have those in store okay and they will try and sell you something that is not your size in store I'm gonna say all the time
them, but that's what I've noticed, okay? Lane Bryant, to me, their t-shirt bras are great. When it comes to strapless bras, Lane Bryant as well, they have a lot of bra solutions. For example, if you have a plunging dress that you have to wear for like a wedding, a backless dress that you have to wear, etc., etc., they have a lot of bra solutions that are specifically catered to plus size women. So they have larger bands. Okay, so those bands will hold, okay? They will hold under the weight of your rolls and they also have larger and thicker straps, right? And you definitely wanna pay attention to the size of the bands of your bra because the band of your bra is actually what gives you most of your support. Now, another bra brand for strapless bras is going to be the Curvy Kates, I believe. They are a UK brand. They also do smaller band sizes and really, really big cups. That's another place you can look for bras. And then another place is ASOS, I hear. Now on ASOS, you really get those fun bras, you know, those sexy bras, those non-grandma looking bras, okay? <laughs> Not those beige bras. And I personally like straight black bras. 99% of my bras are black. You know, I don't have to think about it. Obviously, if more places created like a brown nude, I would also grab some as well. But I stick to my black because that's usually what I can find. But they have all the fun bras, right, on Aces. And then finally for sports bras, which I know for me for years was one of my biggest, biggest issues. Elomi makes a sports bra that is really, really great. And also Freya makes a sports bra that is really, really great okay if you have larger breasts finding good bras is going to be an investment I remember getting a comment from one of my videos that went viral about people saying that you know they couldn't afford bras this is an area where I highly recommend you save up if you're not able to save up at the moment I never recommend credit but Kalarna Afterpay this is an area where I think it's definitely worth it to save up and invest in the best quality bras you can find. You want your breasts to be lifted, you want them to be supported, and you want to be comfortable. And when your breasts are lifted, supported, and of course you feel comfortable, you just look better. Your clothes fit better because your boobs are actually where they're supposed to be, where they're designed to be in the clothing. You don't look like Medea, okay, whose boobs was touching her belly button. It's funny, but it's not funny because again, presentation matters. How you approach the world matters, especially if you're a plus size woman, if you're a black woman, there are already certain biases that people have, unfortunately. And then when you show up and you know, your clothes don't fit right because your undergarments are the ill fitting, you know, people just generate this idea of who you are based on it. And speaking of who you are, I know, like I said earlier, the subjects of breasts can be a little bit touchy, right? Especially if you have, you know, your boobs have changed. Maybe you gave birth, you know, and your boobs are not sitting as high as they used to be. Or maybe you just have naturally really heavy, big boobs, right? Or, you know, you have stretch marks or, you know, your, your boobs are like sagging a little bit. Irregardless, Sis, of what your breasts look like. Okay, if they're like mine and one is a little bit bigger than the other, that does not determine your worth. You should be proud that you have breasts Okay, breasts were designed to give life, to help support life. Whether or not you've had children or you've breastfed, you should be proud to have your breasts, okay? And be proud of the work that they are doing on your behalf and never let anybody make you feel some type of way. If you found this video informative, okay, if you learned something today, pay it forward like this video, share this video, because you may not know this, but somebody you know needs to see this video, all right? And by liking and sharing, it tells YouTube that this video is important. Okay, drop a comment too if you learned something today and that it's good and that they need to share with more people and they share it with more people. We're in this together, right? If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you check out my style mistakes video right here and check out this video as well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.